It has been ten years, but still Masaharu Harada holds on to the letters sent from the man who murdered his only brother. This one is his will, his apology. Despite showing genuine remorse for his crime, detailed in his writings and self-portraits, the government chose to execute him. For Harada, it's left him with a lasting regret. I don't mean the Yes, there may be those who are happy to see someone executed, but I do not think it will bring true atonement. Apologies bring healings. In Japan, capital punishment remains not only legal, it is supported by more than 86% of the population. But in an effort to open public debate on the issue, the Justice Minister last year allowed cameras into the execution chamber for the first time. Hanging is the chosen method here. And now, a small group of politicians, including Hirotami Murakoshi, plans to challenge the law. Murder for murder is not the answer. Just as a person is not allowed to kill, so should not the nation. Beyond the moral debate, the politicians argue that getting rid of capital punishment is a natural step for a nation wanting to become a more advanced society. They point to the fact that joining the European Union, for example, requires a nation to abolish the death penalty. Still, they know they're fighting a sometimes overwhelming tide of emotions. Fumiko Isogai's daughter was kidnapped, assaulted, and brutally murdered by three men. As a parent, if your child is savagely killed, the only thing you can think of is making that criminal pay with his life. With such views in the wide majority, Harada says he doesn't expect laws to change anytime soon. For now, he devotes himself to convincing victims' families to meet with death row inmates, believing that true justice only comes when there is a sincere apology and steps towards forgiveness. Steve Chow, Al Jazeera, Nagoya, Japan.